Do you have a life verse that is dear to you? A passage of scripture that you read over and over again because it resonates with you more than any other part of the Bible. Don't get me wrong, we need the whole Bible. However, there is no denying the fact that there are passages of scripture that speak to us more deeply than others. I call such poems life poems. One of my favorite life verses is Jeremiah 33-3, which says, Call to me, and I will answer you, and I will show you great and inaccessible things that you do not know. This verse helped me get through the best and most difficult times of my life. He finds a response in me, because this is God's promise, call to me, and I will answer you. Can you believe that? God, the Almighty Creator, the one who sees everything, who has the earth as the foot of his feet, the eternal God, the Most High, says to me, call to me, and I will answer you. Wow! The reason this verse speaks to me so strongly is because there were times when I reached out to friends and they couldn't help me. They weren't with me. There were times when my own family disappointed me when I turned to them. But when I turn to God, everything always works out in the end. This does not mean that I received an instant response or that a miracle suddenly happened. There were times when I called out to God on certain issues and I had to wait. I called out to God on other issues and somehow managed, or more precisely, I was given the grace to endure. So dear friend, what is your life verse? Maybe it's Exodus 14:14, 14, 14, where it says, the Lord will fight for you, but you be calm. For someone who has some kind of conflict in their life, whether in their family or at work, this verse can be something that will help them get through the battles, knowing that the Lord will fight for you and you will have peace. For someone else, it may be Psalm 23 to 6, so may goodness and mercy accompany me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord for many days. In difficult times, you hold on to this promise that the goodness and mercy of God will always accompany you. In times of scarcity, you continue to believe that God's goodness and mercy are always with you. And for those who don't have a life verse yet, let me suggest a few scriptures that serve me. Luke 10 19 says, Behold, I give you the power to tread on snakes and scorpions, and on all the power of the enemy, and nothing will harm you. Jeremiah 17 to 7 says, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is the Lord. And finally, Psalm 125 to 1. Those who trust in the Lord, like Mount Zion, which does not waver, abides forever. A call to God is a simple statement, a simple instruction, but how often do we not follow it? Sometimes our call is not loud enough because there is disbelief and doubt in our hearts. Sometimes we are not patient enough to really wait for an answer from the Lord. We call, but we don't wait for an answer because we want everything to happen instantly. And unfortunately, sometimes many of us don't call him at all. Instead, we turn to our friends or worldly resources. How often do we turn to things and so many people besides God? But the Bible says in Jeremiah 33 to 3, call to me and I will answer you, and I will tell you great and unsearchable things that you do not know. No, dear friend, I want to cheer you up today to start calling when it gets too hard. You call on God when you need healing, calling on God when you are in need of a miracle, calling on God because he is a God who never sleeps or sleeps. When you call him, he can make a way where he doesn't seem to be. As Isaiah 45 says, Two, I will go before you and make crooked places straight. Listen, we have an amazing God who is able to level every mountain in front of you, and even when there is a mountain, because you are going through trials and tribulations, it does not mean that God is not with you. Who told you that? You will never go through any trials or difficult times. Do not let anyone tell you that being in the will of God will not cause you problems. Do not think for a second that you are free from problems in life. Because you are a Christian and you are in the will of God. 
Jesus was in the will of God, and he went straight to the cross to die a painful and terrible death in the will of God, and he went through hell on earth. Although God said that Job was an honest and faithful dude, yes, you can face illness, but isn't it worth it if it means that your troubles will bring glory to God? Isn't this challenge worth going through if it means that the Lord has the opportunity to demonstrate his power and show himself to be a great liberator. So call on the Holy Lord, because you may be sick, but you have a healer, you may be in pain, but you have a comforter when you need a savior, call him. Our loving guardian is eternal and boundless in power. He is able to help, and I will always invoke the name that is above all names, the name of Jesus. And here's the thing, of course, we must seek and call upon him when times are difficult. But we must constantly call upon the Lord, even when life is good. And when everything is fine, we should start calling him, just to say thank you for this season of peace and blessings. Call upon him, praise him. Jesus Christ answered the calls of many who came to him when he walked the earth. Those who were sick, those who were possessed by demons, those who were blind. He answered everyone's call. Exodus 3.14 says, I am sent me to you. You are incomparable, God, who gives us everything we need and even more than we could ask for. Whether it's healing, restoration, protection, or peace, we turn our eyes only to you, Lord Jesus. You are faithful, and we ask you to give us the strength to be just as faithful. Help us to stand firm, to be strong and victorious, not to allow ourselves to be defeated. Since Jesus won the victory over Satan, we know that we can walk in this victory. Therefore, I declare that by the grace of God, we have the faith to resist the attacks of Satan and win. We will not be overcome by our problems in the name of Jesus. We will not be oppressed by our sorrows in the name of Jesus. As long as we hold on to you, Lord Jesus, we will live and enjoy a victorious life. We will know you as a healer. We will know you as someone who can restore twice as much as the enemy stole. We will know you as our shield and protector. Father, enlighten our souls and help us see through the eyes of faith. Help us, Lord, so that our eyes of faith encourage us to walk in your light. Blessed be your holy name, Lord Jesus, now and forever. We pray for this in the mighty and incomparable name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Call to me, and I will answer you and show you great and powerful things that you do not know. God has given us the power to trample down snakes and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing will harm us. Jeremiah 17 to 7. But blessed is he who trusts in the Lord and makes the Lord his hope and confidence Psalm 125 to 1. Those who trust in the Lord they are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but which remains forever. Psalm 5 to 1 to 12 says, Hear my words, Lord, reflect on my cry. Hear my cry for help, my King and my God, I pray to you. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice in the morning, I bring you my requests and wait with hope. For you are not a God who rejoices in wickedness, villains cannot live with you. The proud will not stand before your eyes, you hate all those who do iniquity. You destroy liars, the Lord hates a bloodthirsty and treacherous man. But by your great mercy, I will enter your house and worship before your holy temple in fear of you. O Lord, lead me in your righteousness for the sake of my enemies level your path before me. For there is no truth in their mouths their insides are destruction their larynx is an open coffin they flatter with their tongue declare them guilty O god they will fall from their designs according to the multitude of their crimes reject them for they have rebelled against you but may all those who trust in you rejoice may they rejoice forever and you will protect them and those who love your name will rejoice in you for you bless the righteous O lord with favor as with a shield, you crown him.